Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to a transformative channel with Prince. If you have followed my work, you are very well aware that I do a lot of channeling with Prince, a lot of dialogue with Prince. And today I'm going to do what is called a trans, T-R-A-N-S dash channel. It's where we share energetic space and Prince comes through. So we'll have to see what he has to share with us today. I hope you enjoy the video. All right, you may hear my husband's voice in the background. I also have a guest here with me um, watching the session. And so you may hear um, other voices as well. All right, okay. This is on my left, black. Long black tunic shirt, outfit, jacket thingy. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Kind of like a cardigan, but it's open. A little white underneath, but there's a collar that's thick and kind of ivory white with gold, some kind of gold filigree stuff on it. That's how I'll describe it. Short cropped hair, straight on the top, and glasses that are mirrored almost like aviator glasses. They're not the third eye glasses there. He's trying to come in pretty quick, actually. Okay, just... I see you. <laughs> I see you. Body feels a little different. I'm gonna mention that to Bridget. Body feels a little different. I'm kind of liking it. I'm liking it. Good job. Good job with that. I'm, I'm liking that. Well, let's get get this uh, show started here. Like my cufflinks. Gonna be classy today. <laughs> so what you wanna talk about? Well, first thing we're gonna do is a little surprise. Bridget doesn't know about this, and you might know about it, but you've asked a couple times in a couple sessions that you should have a guitar. So um, I'm gonna hand you this guitar. It's 45 years old. I got it when I was about 14. Ooh. It is a oh. Fender Stratocaster. It's probably probably the same time you got yours, but can't really see with my eyes. I really want to tune it, but I'm not gonna. It should be in tune. Can't really see with my eyes. It's probably a brand you never played. It's not a cloud, but uh, I thought you might want to at least feel it. Yes. So nice. It's hard to see without no eyes shape of the body you know it's like a woman's body okay nice nice oh, <sighs> I need to stand up but I'm not gonna I want to screw with the sound <laughs> like heaven. It's like heaven. Heaven on earth. (sighs) 
She has no idea how to hold this thing. <laughs> she no, Bridget has no idea what to do with a guitar. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but I do. This is your cross. This is my cross. <laughs> it is. Many memories with this little red Corvette, new little red Corvette. That that one you request, little red Corvette. Ah, <laughs> oh, musicology. That's the one I talk with Bridget about. She still doesn't get it. She does not. God help her. She does not get it. But. Feels like home. Mm. Now I'm comfortable. Now I'm comfortable. What do you want to talk about? She can get mad if I don't talk about stuff she want to talk about. Yeah, thank, they, thank you. Um, Thank you for this gift. Thank you very, very much. Uh, well, maybe you can autograph it. And <laughs> <laughs> I can't see, you know. I don't got eyes right now, so it'll be a little difficult. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be worth much then. <laughs> uh, the main subject today is mm. why do you believe, or tell us why people are attracted to and drawn to Paisley Park. People get to hold my guitars there now. Did you know? Did you know that they get to hold my guitar? They wear gloves. Like that's gonna make a difference. Like you can't even really feel it if you have gloves on. I remember. I'm not the one that wore the gloves. So let's just be clear on that. And uh, it makes it feel different. You know, you don't feel the smoothness of the neck. You know, you just don't feel the. You just can't feel the difference in the chords. You know, I. I which kind of seems funny people touching my guitars but just um, I want to say something about that one in particular the guitar thing before we you know move on and you 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 started it I don't mind I really don't care I, mean, I don't have I don't care for material possessions I, I want to uh, state that public record I don't really care about material possessions so if you get all upset because you're feeling sad that you're touching my stuff, it's not my stuff. I don't need stuff. Spirit doesn't need stuff. It's, uh, it's all cool. We're cool with that. However, the purple guitar with the... I think Bridget saw this. I think she can recall it, too, in her memory. Can you bring it forward in the mind's eye? I... A leopard strap. Purple shaped kind of like this it feels like this this feels this a little bit wider it feels a little bit wider a little heavier on the top maybe the berth is wider but my guitar is a guitar you can just about play anything however i have my preferences but the guitars the ones in the case uh and they change them out they switch them up which is a good thing i think it's a good thing there's a variety then you know for people but and I played many guitars, so it's not like there's one. Oh, my special one. There's not. There's a lot of special ladies, I mean guitars, in my time, right? So it's okay. It's, a, it's really cool. I'm cool with that. You touch my guitar, I'm cool with that. You know, I don't, don't even need the gloves. I don't really care about that part. I just, there's no, I don't have that. And you can ask more from Bridget about that if you want to learn more about that. But I just, I just, I really want people to know that I don't. I don't have that kind of connection with that, but 
Oh, man, this feels good. <laughs> it feels real good. Really good. Thank you. All right, so I got to talk about Paisley. Um, I know she wanted to talk about this. I heard you guys talking in the kitchen earlier. Um, why do people go to Paisley? I think it's a personal thing. I think it's a personal message. I think, I think people go there to, to find themselves or to feel themselves. I, I think they might, in their mind, they might think that they're coming to talk to me or you know, pay their respects or homage or whatever it is that you do when people are dead but after they're, they've been here. But I think it, they are really coming for purpose, but it's personal. You know, they're coming to find something like, uh, and I think it's their soul, you know, their spirit. They think they're coming to connect with my spirit, but they're really coming to connect with their spirit. And I think it's interesting, you know, people come again and again and again. And Bridget can talk about this too. She can speak to this. There is a, it kind of gets under your skin, you know? It's like a chakra, Bridget would say. It's like a chakra, an energy center of its own, you know, which is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. For me personally, this might surprise you. I feel that my legacy is healing. I do. I really do. I do believe that that's what it is. And I think part of the visit to Paisley Park gives that to people or, or, at, the, or at least at least it starts that process. It, it just, you know, Bridget talks a lot about hope. And I do think that that's one thing we have in common. And perhaps that's what connects us and bonds us so much is that hope. She really believes in that. And so do I. And if Paisley Park gives that to you or gives that when you come to visit and you just need a recharge of that, then, you know, go back to the well. It's kind of like a a fountain, you know, like a, one of those uh, geysers or, or a spring, like a fountain spring that just keeps coming, you know, it's, it's abundant, never ending. Bridget would say abundant, never ending, just a resource. It just, I think it really just, it may cleanse for some, it may be like a baptism for others or a christening. Whatever your thing is, whatever your thing is. But the legacy of healing that Paisley represents now, that's the point of it all. And it's kind of funny how it gets lost with all the structure, the higher ups and the tours and the administration and all that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how the tours run or which tour you go on or which part you see and which part you don't or this happened in this part this tragedy you know it doesn't that none of that matters it's just being there you don't even have to come inside people you don't have to come inside just knowing it's there right it's a legacy of healing and when i built it i didn't intend that not at all i just it is always, it has always been a place of spirit, a very spiritual place, but not in the way of religion or teachings or in that way. It's a very personal, I, I believe it's a personal connection. And if I can help people to find themselves, to find their way, then that's a, I mean, that's a pretty good legacy, I think. Looking back, I, I, I can't imagine that I deserve to have such a, a role. I wouldn't have anticipated that. I wouldn't have guessed that. You wouldn't have, if you would have told me that, that that's what, this is what I'd be doing in the afterlife, I'd say you were full of it. I would say, this. what? No way. Ain't no way. That's not going to happen. Hmm? Guess things change, huh? I think it's personal for people. And, and I want to share it. I want to share that. I want to be part of that, that healing for people. I want to be part of healing. And that might sound strange coming from a musician, unless you know music. Then you know it's always been about the healing, that connection, that sweet soul connection, helping that energy that you have to flow, to really flow. Uninhibited, 
uninhibited. Do not restrict creativity, which is why creativity at times does not make sense to people, which is why you look at my albums, you look at my, my catalogs of music and you think how this album to this album and the songs and the, how do they all fit together? It, it's this process and it doesn't always make sense. And that's kind of how intuition is. Bridget, I know she would say that. That's kind of how intuition is. It does not make sense. Do you know why? It's because you can't figure things out with your mind that aren't for the mind to figure out. It's a spiritual connection to faith. And when faith is flowing, and you can be, stand under that flow of that faith energy, then you're baptized, you're cleared, you're, you're purified. I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, Paisley's magical, but I think that it can really, Bridget would use the word transform people. It can really change you. It, it really is like a chakra, like Bridget would use the word chakra. It really is, I would say it's an energy center. I would say that. But again, I want to be really clear because there are going to be people that watch this that have n never and will never get a chance to step inside those white walls. You know, I had to make a blend into Minnesota, right? Like in the winter, like it disappears, you know, all the white. People wonder, why did you make it white? Well, why not? Why not make it white? I mean, doesn't it look cool? It looks really cool, like an igloo, right? Like Minnesota, it's, it's real cool. But I want people to understand, people that are never gonna come here, that live in other places far away, just cannot get here to Minnesota, to Paisley Park, you don't have to physically be here. See, that's the best thing about spirit. That's the best thing about me now. You have more access to me than you've ever had. And if you want it so desperately, so badly, then just meditate. Talk to me. Do a prayer. Have a walk. Use that water. You know, Bridget's talked about the water all the time and the connection I have with water. I have always had a connection with water. And if you're a fan, fam, you should know that. Uh, you should know that. Water and me, yes. Water and me, that means we. That's how you connect with me. In your bathtub, in your shower, walking by your lake, walking by your river, whatever. I don't care. Water. That's all it takes is water. Then we connected. Then you feel paisley. You don't have to be at the place. It's so cool how that works, isn't it? Spirit, soul to soul. But I know, I know, I know, I know. When you visit, it's really pretty incredible, isn't it? You feel it, you smell it, you know? You take all that in. I understand all the senses of your human body and your human experience wants that. But if you can't have it in that way, you can have it in spirit. You might actually be benefiting more from doing it that way. So don't feel bad if you can't come to Paisley. Don't feel bad. It's okay. I'm okay with that. That's pretty good, right? Are we good with that? I just want to cuddle up to this guitar. I just want to sleep with this one tonight. Just put it right in my bed, right next to me. Although I don't really sleep, you know, because spirit doesn't really sleep. But, you know, Bridget might be like having a weird attachment to the guitar when you're done. <laughs> She's probably not going to like you for this, you know. She's going to probably be mad at you for this one. Maybe not, though. I think I gave her some good content, hopefully. I know she's going to watch the video, you know. This isn't really my preference, but I do appreciate the gesture. It's a little bit wide for me. A little bit wide. And I don't have a strap, so I can't just... I want to pop it down, and I can't really do that. But it feels good. Thank you. I do appreciate it. I tell you, I'm looking at a picture of you playing a strat at the Super Bowl halftime show. So I did not know that. You even played one. The baby blue? The baby blue. I think she went up for auction. I think she was sold. I think somebody actually has that. Do you know there were three of them? She actually has, somebody actually has that. There's a white one too, white cloud. White cloud, cloud white, white cloud. Um, 
This is not my preference, I gotta say. Not right now, not at this time. It feels a bit, it feels a bit much. Too wide, too heavy, something's off about it. I can't see the color. Is it like a yellow or a brown cream? What color is this? Black with a blonde neck. Oh, okay. Oh, black, thank you. I'm seeing it in like a cream color. I see a cream colored one, like a creamy tan beige one. That's what I'm seeing right now. But I can't see, you know, with human eyes. So she won't let me open my eyes, you know, because that screws her up a little bit. Nice. Uh oh, there's somebody else. Uh oh. It's okay, I can hold it. Let me hold it. Let me keep it. She, um, not sure what you're going to do about this video. You might have to edit it. Somebody else coming in. Not sure why, and Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Tom Petty. Um, wow, this is a trip, man. This is a trip. Prince is telling me, give me some instructions, some tips. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to your wife for allowing me to come in. We talked the other day, we met for the first time and had a conversation. Not used to breathing a body. Prince is giving me tips, pointers in the back. Yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good. It's all good, it's good, yeah, man. He's telling me just relax in her body. Hold the guitar and relax in the body. You'll feel more comfortable because of the guitar kind of centers you, you know. When you're on stage, you got to have it a certain way. I had a red one that I really liked myself, actually. Hello. I'm not really sure much what to say. I just, I think he, I think Prince wanted to give me the chance to hold the guitar again, you know. Well, let's, let's talk about the segue, because Prince was talking about a cream-colored Stratocaster. Yeah. And obviously uh. this one's black. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a picture of you right now. I started looking before you even came in of you playing a cream-colored Stratocaster. Mm. Yeah. One of my babies. One of my many lovely, love the guitars, huh? Yeah, it's nice. It's real nice. Real nice. I really like that. It's interesting how this works. It's pretty fascinating. The I can see images like human eyes, but I'm spirit. I I am crossed over. I will tell people that so that they know I'm I am a spirit form purely. I'm pure spirit. Although oh, God knows I've had a lot of work to do. The recovery part is a bitch, man. You know it is. But, uh, you know, I, I will s share, since it's public knowledge, that both Prince and I, we, you know, left the earth the same way. And uh, I accidentally, it was an accidental overdose for me. That's the first time I've publicly channeled that or shared that. Even when your wife and I we spoke before, I, we really didn't talk about that part. And uh, I, I appreciated that. I thought that was real, real polite of her to be that way. But I'm seeing California, and your wife has been there, so it's kind of nice because I can utilize her, uh, use her, her pictures, her old pictures, you know, when she was even little, like young. Like, she looks little, young, and you know I can tell they're little because she's short. And I know she's not short because Prince is short. <laughs> and your wife's not short. <laughs> I have to, when I have the chance to talk, I got to give him a jab, you know, 
you know, we got along pretty well, actually. And uh, he's a he's a good guy. I'm going to say that. Prince is a he's a good, brilliant musician, just incredible musician. And uh, it was a pleasure to jam with him. It's a pleasure. It's my pleasure to jam with him. And I appreciate the compliment he gave back to me, too. I appreciate that. But uh, I can see her images of like Hollywood Hills looking up at the Hollywood sign. And I, you know, I love California. I mean, I was spent a lot of my time there, a lot of my life there in uh, Santa Monica Pier. And, and I'm actually laid to rest not far from the, the ocean side. And uh, she, what your wife is actually seeing in her human eyes is the image of the, the white pillars and the bar across of the, the place where I'm at in the eternal, my remains we'll say that my remnants you know because my body was ridden well and hard you know kind of thing so but that's beautiful thank you make sure make sure you say thank you to her for that because i really it's really quite something to experience this in a body it's really uh, something i never thought i'd experience you know but i was always connected to my spirit i guess you'd say you know i the spirit runs through me, you know, like uh, music just comes and flows and just so much, so many words. I, I really, I loved writing. When I was writing, I was like channeling, you know, that's what your wife does. But uh, when I was writing lyric songs, you know, I wrote a lot of songs for other people too. I don't think, I'll, I don't know if uh, people will know that, many will know that, but I did and collaborated with a great number of very, very talented artists and uh I just, there's an appreciation. I have a lot of appreciation for that. I'm thankful for that, for those opportunities I had in my life. And, uh, you know, there was hard times. It's not easy, especially in Hollywood. There's a lot of, a lot of crap that goes on. I'm trying not to swear. There's a lot of crap that goes on there. And it's easy to understand how people can get derailed. And I'm not saying it's an excuse, though. You, I'm not saying it's an excuse. So if you're battling with addiction, or if you got some issues, take care of them. Take care of yourself for your family, for your friends, for your life. Do it for yourself. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for your loved ones because they're the ones that really, they, they're hurt. Like when you leave, they hurt. I mean, I can see that. That's, that's the hardest part, you know, is to live with that. Eternally aware of that. So there is a healing process in the afterlife as well. I've been working on my recovery here. So I'm telling you right now, it ain't worth it. If you're addicted to something, you got to do something. Do, do something. Got to, you know, trade one addiction for another, but make it something like easy, like caffeine or even nicotine, even smoking cigarettes. Oh my God, was I a smoker. Smoking cigarettes. So much better for you than uh, the hard stuff, you know. And don't fool yourself that alcohol isn't a drug. It sure as hell is a drug. I've seen a lot of people wreck their lives, a lot of careers in the toilet because of alcohol issues. Don't you fool yourself. Alcohol is an issue. You know, you got to be smart about it, especially if you're, you have addictions. You got to be smart. You got to be careful about things, you know. I don't want to be too luxury, but I think it's important to just acknowledge, the, you know, what's real for you people. I mean, it's important to know that. That's a part of the point of connecting is to talk about that stuff. So... Yeah, I really appreciate it. Please tell her thank you because the images are so beautiful. It's just a part of my life that I'm so fond of. It meant so much to me. I'm coming back in, but I'm I'm a little ways away, so give me a second. 
I'm okay. Totally fine. I feel totally fine. I just have to get to my body. It's a little ways away. A lot of emotion. Oh my God, Elvis would love this. This is our, his colors, the black and the ivory and the, did you guys see this? I'm gonna show this. This is what Prince was holding and Tom Petty. Wow, it's a good thing I tried to come back. So I'm like, you got, I'm like, I'm coming back. I'm coming back because I could feel Prince and he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, he's like, let me walk with you. I'm like, okay. And brought me back in. And then I'm like, we could have totally kept going. I could have seriously probably done Elvis with this one. This is beautiful. I didn't even know you had this, honey. This is my husband. I mean, I probably did know, but I don't remember it at all. Oh my God, he would have loved, Prince would have loved this. Did you love this? <sighs> he's like a kid in the candy store like, Christmas! even though he didn't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> All right. This is Bridget. You've been watching a transformative channel, just a style of channel, a unique style that I do. I coined the phrase because I think it's so transformative the way the energy flows. And again, it's not like they don't, the spirit doesn't possess me. It just shares energy space kind of a little bit out from my body but can kind of flow i still have control over my body i can move it how i want to but they can also utilize my my body to make gestures and that kind of a thing they can feel it too so it's really respectful and it's a it's an interesting process that's for darn sure i hope you've enjoyed this video again this is bridget thank you so much for watching <laughs>